Okay, so uh, presently the foam that we've received is in giant rolls. I think they're about eight feet tall. You can see them there. Uh, and we need to cut them into something that's manageable that people can work with on a six foot table. Uh, so the best way we found to do that is to make it 24 inches wide so that it's divisible by eight because eventually we're gonna be making eight inch long pieces of foam. And this contraption is something that helps us do that. Uh, thank you to, I believe, the volunteer's name was Chad who made this. You see here that there's a pole that's going through a piece of foam. It's generally a two-person job to get the piece of foam onto this pole once you've completely exhausted a roll. Uh, once you do that, you get it onto the pole and then you can slide the support on from the end. Uh, there's a table here that keeps the uncut portion of the foam from falling on the ground. And then there's a front table where all the action is, so why don't you come a little closer? These T-squares provide a nice straight line and also a 90 degree angle so you can make sure that you've lined everything up correctly. This piece of cardboard is 24 inches long from side to side and so we're going to line that up with the edge of the foam and with the edge of the T-square and we're going to confirm that it's 90 degrees so this side looks good. You also want to check the other side because it's quite a long distance and if you don't you could be off by a couple inches. So this side also looks very good. Now we can put the, uh, the ruler aside and make a cut. You generally need to extend the knife all the way out because the foam is quite thick. Uh, once you do that, you start with a sawing motion and then you can transition to a sliding motion. It generally takes two or three passes. In this case, I've already done uh, a pass in advance just to make the video shorter. So this is my second pass. And now these two pieces of foam should be detached. So I'm going to take the T-square and put it on the other side of the cut. I'm going to pull mine away. I'm going to bring this to the pile of, of cutoffs and we can get ready for our next cut. To do that, you pick up the T-square so it's not dragging on anything and you pull the foam roll forward until it's just at the edge of the table and you might have to pull it a little bit fast and then push it back to get it just so. Put the teeth foam back. Line up each side of the ruler again. And you're ready for your next cut.